In this How Is It Made episode, we delve into the world of bourbon. Ever wondered how it's made? What its origins are? Well, pull up a chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare for a journey into the heart of one of America's most beloved spirits. First, let's delve a little into the history of bourbon. Originating in the 18th century, bourbon has its roots firmly planted in the southern United States. Kentucky, to be precise. Named after Bourbon County, this spirit quickly became a favorite among settlers with its rich, full-bodied flavor and unique aging process. Bourbon's genesis can be traced back to the 18th century, a time when settlers in the New World began searching and experimenting for ways to preserve their surplus crops. These experiments gave led them to a new process known as distilling. Distilling would give birth to a type of whiskey. However, this wasn't your average whiskey. Settlers stored this distilled spirit in charred oak barrels for transport. As the whiskey traveled, it absorbed the rich, smoky flavor from the charred barrels, transforming into a full-bodied spirit with a distinct flavor that was unlike anything else. This whiskey, born from surplus and necessity, eventually adopted a name that honored its birthplace. It became known as Bourbon, named after Bourbon County in Kentucky. The unique climate and fertile soil of Kentucky made it an ideal place for corn cultivation. The hot, humid summers and cold winters provided the perfect conditions for the corn to mature and for the bourbon to age. This unique combination of elements gave bourbon its unique, full-bodied flavor that we have come to love. And so, in the heart of America, bourbon was born. A spirit born out of necessity and innovation, it quickly became more than just a way to preserve surplus corn. It became a symbol of American tradition and craftsmanship, a testament to the settlers' resilience and creativity. In the early days of America, bourbon wasn't just a drink, it was a form of currency. Pioneers would trade it for goods and services, making it an integral part of the emerging American economy. Bourbon also played a key role in social gatherings and celebrations, symbolizing camaraderie and unity. Over time, bourbon became synonymous with the American spirit of resilience and innovation. It was the drink that people reached for in times of celebration and in times of sorrow. The bourbon industry has also contributed significantly to the American economy. It has created jobs from distillers to bartenders and boosted tourism, with bourbon distilleries becoming popular tourist destinations. The Civil War era was truly a tumultuous period in American history and had a profound impact on the bourbon industry. This was a time of unrest, uncertainty, and devastation. Many distilleries were destroyed in the crossfires of war, and this led to a severe shortage of bourbon. The war not only disrupted the supply of grains needed for bourbon production, but also the transportation needed to distribute the bottles. In the face of these challenges, bourbon distillers were forced to adapt. They had to find new, innovative ways to produce their beloved spirit. Some distilleries moved to safer locations, while others experimented with new recipes and distilling techniques. The war led to a change in the bourbon production process as distillers had to find new ways to produce the spirit with limited resources. After Prohibition during the 50s and 60s, bourbon experienced a boom in popularity. The bourbon boom led to significant advancements in distilling techniques and equipment. Distillers began to experiment with new methods, refining their processes to create a smoother, more flavorful spirit. The introduction of the continuous still, also known as the patent still, revolutionized the distilling process, making it more efficient and consistent. Distillers' resilience and ingenuity during the Civil War laid the groundwork for the bourbon we know and love today. Today, the bourbon industry is thriving. There are hundreds of bourbon brands available, each with its own unique flavor profile. From the smooth, rich taste of Maker's Mark to the spicy kick of a rye-heavy bourbon like 89 Redemption or with a sweet profile such as Woodford Reserve, there's a bourbon for every palate. Bourbon tourism is also a major industry with many distilleries offering tours and tastings. Imagine walking through the hallowed halls of a century-old distillery, the air heavy with the sweet, earthy scent of aging bourbon. You'll learn about the bourbon-making process from the selection and milling of grains to the magic of the aging process. In essence, bourbon is a reflection of America's history and culture. It's a spirit that has evolved with the times, yet still retains its roots. It's a testament to the pioneering spirit of the early settlers and their ability to create something extraordinary from the ordinary. So the next time you pour yourself a glass of bourbon, remember you're not just savoring a drink, you're experiencing a piece of American history. So finally, 
How is America's favorite spirit made? It all starts with the grain. Bourbon must be made from a grain mixture that is at least 51% corn. This grain mixture, or mash bill as it's known in the trade, often includes small amounts of barley and rye. Next, the grains are ground up and mixed with water. This mixture is then heated to break down the starches into fermentable sugars, creating a sweet, grainy liquid known as the mash. The mash is then transferred to a fermentation vessel, where yeast is added. The yeast feasts on the sugars, producing alcohol and carbon dioxide. This process, known as fermentation, takes about three to seven days and results in a beer-like liquid called distiller's beer. This beer is then distilled, a process that involves heating the liquid until it turns into vapor, then cooling it to condense it back into a liquid. This removes impurities and increases the alcohol content. The result is a clear strong spirit called White Dog. The White Dog is then aged in new charred oak barrels. This is where bourbon gets its distinctive amber color and much of its flavor. The spirit must be aged for at least two years to be considered bourbon. However, many bourbons are aged for much longer to develop a deeper, more complex flavor. Once the bourbon has aged to perfection, it's removed from the barrel, diluted with water to reach the desired strength, and bottled. Despite changes in the process, all bourbon must still meet certain legal requirements to be called bourbon. These requirements include being made in the United States, being made from a grain mixture that is at least 51% corn, and being aged in new charred oak barrels. These regulations ensure that no matter how much bourbon evolves, it maintains its distinct identity. Over the years, bourbon makers have refined their techniques and experimented with ingredients, leading to a wide variety of flavors and styles. Some bourbons are bold and smoky, while others are smooth and sweet. Some are aged for years, lending them deep, complex flavors, while others are young and vibrant with a fresh, grainy taste. Now, what does bourbon taste like? Well, that depends on the bourbon. However, most bourbons have a rich, full-bodied flavor with notes of vanilla, caramel, and oak. They're often sweet, with a warm, smooth finish that lingers on the palate. And what food goes best with bourbon? Well, bourbon pairs wonderfully with a wide range of foods. It's great with rich, hearty dishes like steak and barbecue. It also pairs well with sweet, decadent desserts like chocolate cake and pecan pie. But in the end, the best food to pair with bourbon is the one you enjoy the most. Bourbon is a spirit steeped in tradition made from a mixture of grains, fermented, distilled, and aged in new charred oak barrels. Remember that each sip of bourbon is a taste of history, a nod to tradition, and a testament to American resilience and innovation. So next time you pour yourself a glass of bourbon, take a moment to appreciate the craftsmanship and history that went into each sip. Cheers to that. For more How It Is Made videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. See you in the next one.